All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one woman in her time plays many parts. My college is doing a production of As You Like It. We were rehearsing last week. And as I said those words, I looked into the wings and saw my best friend, Rachel, waving at me. She was all twisted up like she had to go to the bathroom or something. And I was trying to remember my lines. And why is Rachel waving at me? I couldn't remember my lines. <laughs> I just started laughing and we stopped. It was vintage Rachel. So Rachel didn't have to go to the bathroom. It was a call from home. Um, my brother Ross needs a bone marrow donor. Again. I guess technically my parents are asking me if, if I want to do it. And I want to want to do it, but I don't feel like I have any choice. I tried to pretend like I wasn't scared, like it's not any big deal. I'm so scared. They used me for bone marrow before, when I was 12. And anyway, it, um, it turns out that I also donated bone marrow to Ross when I was just a year old. It turns out that the only reason they even had me was because Ross needed bone marrow. I suppose none of us chooses to be born, but still we have this sense that, uh, maybe an illusion, but that we were willed into existence, you know, by the great forces of the cosmos. I was just made for the sole purpose of providing Ross with spare parts. Who am I? Am I just some old car in the junkyard? You take the part you want and, and take a hacksaw to me? And if Ross is so defective, then why don't they just let him die and conceive a replacement Ross? The same way they conceived me. I mean, when is it enough? I know I'm just being selfish and scared. Of course I want to help my brother. It's just that, well, I wish I could choose to help him. It's not my choice. It's my destiny. It's the only reason I exist. Why do any of us exist? Because our parents were drunk and bored one Saturday night? I mean, is everything determined by the circumstances of our past? I mean, are we forever yoked to history? I don't think so. But then, if we're constantly redefining ourselves, then are we just machines being continually updated with new software? I mean, is there such a thing as I? I have to believe that I'm a unique person with a unique destiny. I may exist in Ross's shadow, and there may be billions of humans on Earth, but I am the only me. No one may ever have the same thoughts or dreams or fears again. I was born of purely utilitarian reasons. I was born of someone else's choice. The future, I think, will be my own choice.